The Government of Greenland does not have control of Greenland's military or foreign affairs. The defence of Greenland is the responsibility of the Kingdom of Denmark. However, following the November 2008 referendum on increased autonomy, which attracted significant popular support 72% turnout, 75% vote in favour, the governments of Greenland and Denmark have agreed to a 30-point package that will begin to give Greenland greater powers over defence and foreign affairs. Native military Greenland has no regular military, the Royal Danish Navy maintains several bases, under the Joint Arctic Command, and conducts Coast Guard as well as search and rescue operations. Domestic military statistics Military branches, no regular military forces Manpower available for military service, males age 16 minus 49 to 15,280 Manpower fit for military service, males age 16 minus 49 to 10,765 females age 16 minus 49 to 11,399 Manpower reaching militarily significant age annually, male, 488 female, 478 Military, note, defence is the responsibility of Denmark. <laughs> Changes from June 2009 The post-referendum governmental changes became effective in June 2009. Those that affect military provision include Greenland's government will be given significant autonomy in determining foreign affairs. Many aspects of foreign affairs policy will no longer be linked to Danish policy. Control of the militarized Greenlandic Coast Guard will be transferred to the government of Greenland. The Greenlandic government will take control of policing, including the police motor launchers currently trained to assist military in the Island Command Greenland. <inaudible> <inaudible> Overseas military Several American and Danish military bases are located in Greenland, including the U.S. Thule Air Base. The Royal Danish Navy operate a dog sled patrol called Sirius Patrullien, based in Daneborg. See also Joint Arctic Command Sirius Arctic Patrol Military of Denmark <laughs>